<laughs> Welcome back to a new video. Um, I'm doing this late. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Let's put it that way. We start the day off by getting COVID tested. Hi, are you here for a COVID test? Yes. And are you having a procedure? Are you having some stuff exposure, travel? Travel coming up. Do you have a doctor's order? Yeah. Is for you? And for my son. Two tests. You both have doctor's orders? Yes, ma'am. What's your last name? Green. G-R-E-E-N. What's your first name? Tatiana. That's T-A-T-J-A-N-A. -T -A -A. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Alright. What's your uh, birthday? What's your phone number? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me your last name and date of birth? Uh, green, like the color, and February 20th, 2002. Okay. Hey, my mom. Lower your mask so I can just see your nose. Sure. Okay. I'm just going to probably just for a little bit inside. Can you leave tomorrow tonight? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, we'll get tested oh, again tomorrow in Germany. Okay. And then we'll be back for you in two weeks. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's it. You're all set. I <laughs> got your results on my chart. Do you have a my chart? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, they'll pop up there, they'll notify you with an email. Okay. Um, it should be in a few days, okay? Okay. All right, take care. Three, two, one. My chart will be available within three to five days, but you're going to get tested again in Germany. Yeah. Do you need some more Kleenex? No, I'm okay. Thank you. No? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Then my mom and I finished packing. I just relaxed for the rest of the day. Around, I think, 6.30 or so, we got on our way to the airport. Wayne drove us. As soon as we got ready to check in, we we're at the counter and everything. We need the papers for your dog since he's flying in cabin. And so we gave him like the, the all of our papers for him except for it turns out that we were missing the rabies paper and that's the one that was like most important to check in and everything and i thought we had it with us i thought my mom had it there was a mix up in communication so i we called wayne he picked me up and i had to go back home pick those up that was hectic um by the time we got back to the airport it was like eight 46, 850, cutting it real close. But luckily, they allow like four checked bags per person somehow. I don't know how that works, but. And so she checked all of our bags in under her name, my mom did. So all I had to do was check in online and show up. Cause I, I made another copy of the rabies paper and like scanned it on my phone and texted it to my mom so that she could email it to like the, um, the airline so that he could be checked in. But luckily, everything worked out. We got on our flight and everything. Maverick was fine for the most part. Like, he barked only like twice or three times on our first flight. I'm dreaming you and night All my darkest fears are coming outside We got a billion races We got a smile deep And you can trust me, baby We got everything Call me whenever you feel alone, baby And when you need to cry, I'll be by your side 
Call me whenever you need someone, babe And when you need to escape from a thousand fires I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are And I'm gonna miss you, I will never die Call me whenever you need someone, babe We're running in the jungle of love <laughs> Since you're my conditions, I got you on my mind You were stuck in my head and I don't know why We got a billion reasons, we got this melody And you can trust me, baby, we got everything Call me whenever you feel alone, baby And when you need to cry, I'll be by your side Call me whenever you need someone, baby And when you need to escape from a thousand fires I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are And I'm gonna miss you, I will never love you Call me whenever you need someone, baby We're running in the jungle of love And then our second flight, he was like so like stressed and like out of it with his medication that he just kept quiet and everything. Um, once we got to Vasha, Vasha, we had to like that was our our layover um, destination where we had to stay at for three hours until we got on our next flight. We had to completely like leave the airport because they didn't have like a, a pet relief area for some reason. And we basically spent like 20 minutes, 30 minutes outside. For Maverick not to pee. Like I had to use the bathroom. So when we got back inside, I went to the bathroom, came back, got on our way. I needed another ticket. But before we even got to the counter, Maverick just peed in, in the middle of the terminal, which was hilarious because we took him outside where there was grass and stuff and he just, I don't know. I feel like he did that because he was stressed out and since my mom and I were like right there by him and it wasn't as loud, he, he felt safe. And then we got to the counter. Oh, this lady was weird. We already checked Maverick in. Like all, all we were there for was for a second plane ticket because I didn't get a second, like I only got the ticket in Chicago to go to Poland but I didn't get the ticket to go from Poland to Germany. So we went to the counter and she saw that there was a dog in the reservation. And she was like, okay, I need all of those papers. Even though we already checked them in, in, in Chicago and all we needed was a pay, like a ticket for me. She was like, no, I need the papers. I need this and that and took her sweet time. And I don't know, she just rubbed me the wrong way. And my mom was like really confused. She was like thinking to herself, why do you need the papers even though we already checked them in, stuff like that. But we just went with the flow and we're like, okay, here you go. Give her the papers and tried to get out of that situation as fast as possible. And then we went to the um, Polish lounge for like two hours. And got on a flight. I don't know where I am, I don't know where you take me, I don't know where you take me. I just follow your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head. Let me escape from this on love, cause I'm a prisoner. I just want to look my way and never back to you Ooh, I'm not a bob Let me be myself I'm not a bob Let me be myself Let me be myself
escape from this all love Cause I'm a prisoner I just want to look my way And never back to you Ooh, I'm not your baby Let me be myself I'm not your baby The rental dilemma happened. We got to Hamburg, got our bags and everything, went out, let the dog out of the travel bag, let him walk a little bit, and we had trouble finding which garage our rental car was in. So we went to the closest one, and then my mom was like, oh no, we, I think it's over here. So I was like, okay. And then I said, I thought it was over here, there, there. We went all over the place. And then it ended up being like the first garage we went to originally that was like really close to our terminal. Oh, wait. <laughs> I skipped a part of our, our, our experience. So we were supposed to get COVID tested again once we landed. But, um,. Yeah, that that was that was a wild experience. We so we went to like the abandoned terminal in Hamburg. That's like right where we got our bags and everything, because that's where like the COVID testing area was. And so first we had to wait outside for 20 minutes because it was full and they were trying to keep like a limited amount of people inside. And then by the time it was our turn, when we got in line, there was like this this family of 13 in front of us that just weren't following like the regulations with like the mask like they had masks on thankfully but they just didn't have it like covering their nose and like that like, that's like a key part of like being safe and everything and then on top of that like they weren't keeping the like of course, i would understand that since like their family and everything but it's 13 of them in a, in a line and they weren't they were just all bunched up and then on top of that with the whole mask thing and my mom was like this is gonna be fun and we stood there for a good half hour and it was cutting close with like our like given time frame to pick up the rental car eventually we just went like got out of line and it was and determined it was it would be unsafe to just stay in like that because like they didn't have it well um ventilated like they didn't have any of those like purifiers or like the i don't know um hvac filters or whatever it's called so my, my mom talked it over with my grandma and they were like, no, just go get the rental car before it's too late. And then that whole thing with the rental car happened. Eventually, we got it sorted out where we got a car, a rental car with actual keys so that we wouldn't have to run into the problem of not being able to unlock it with our phone or my mom's phone for that matter. And yeah, and we drove like one hour and 45 minutes or so to my grandma's city. Um, that's about it. Um, that, that wrapped up the whole travel vlog. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Comment when you what? Yeah. Why do I have this? I don't know. I like to fidget too much. Like, especially when I'm sitting down and like making a video, I fidget so much. Okay, I don't know. But um, comment down below what you want to see in the future. Um, after I upload this, I'm gonna work on my next video explaining the sudden disappearance and why I haven't uploaded in like two to three months. And yeah, that's a, that's all I have. And um, if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Most importantly, comment down what you want to see. All right, peace.